So if you've downloaded a project file from YouTube that you're trying to use with your launchpad and you're having a bit of trouble with error messages like media files missing or you just can't get up and running with it, then this is the video for you. Now I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you can get up and running using these projects for things like light shows. And also make sure you stay right to the end because I've got a bonus tip for you. That's all coming up. Hi there guys, it's John Holt here with The Audio Journey, helping make music production accessible to all. And here on this channel, what I do is a variety of music production tutorials aimed towards beginners. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing. So this video has been requested by everyone. So here are the main four points that I'm gonna be covering in this video to help you overcome these issues. Number one, how to configure your launchpad with Ableton. Number two, how to store your project files so you don't get errors like media files missing or samples offline. Number three, how to get the lights working on your launchpad. And number four, I'm gonna show you how to set up the MIDI map for the chain selectors. And essentially what that means is how to set the row of buttons on the side of the launchpad to change page throughout the song. So let's get started. So first things first, we need to say to Ableton, look, this is the launchpad that I'm using and this is how I want it to work. So to configure your Launchpad with Ableton, you need to connect it. And if it's a Launchpad Pro, you need to turn it on with the button just up at the top here. Then you're gonna come up to Preferences, Link MIDI, and your Launchpad will probably already be selected up here. Just make sure that it is. So I'm using the Launchpad Pro, and I've got it selected in the input and the output. Then in the section just down here, you want to make sure that you've got your track and remote settings, as well as the sync set up just like in this screenshot here. If you're on a PC to find the preferences, you're gonna to come to options and preferences will be the bottom option just down here. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is make a folder to keep all of your Launchpad projects in, and then we're gonna stick this on the left-hand side of Ableton. So on the Mac, open up your finder and go to music, then Ableton, and create a folder in here by doing new folder. I've done so here, launchpad projects, and I've already saved a couple of launchpad projects in there. What you're then gonna do in Ableton is come over to add folder and select the one that we just made, which is launchpad projects, and click open. Now you'll see over here on the left-hand side, we've got that folder launchpad projects. And whenever you open up a light show project, you need to do it from here. The .als file, or the Ableton Live set, is exactly what you need to click and open. If you're on a PC, then go to your documents and make the folder anywhere in there, just as long as you remember where it is, and then go through the same process of add folder and select the one that you just made. So let's have a look at this media files missing. And this is just a file that I actually know is missing from this Launchpad project, and I've played it and it doesn't matter that that's missing, so we can go ahead and ignore that. But generally, you will see a massive list here of media files missing. If you've just gone into your downloads section and opened the live set from there, it's because Ableton can't see these samples, which it needs to draw in to be able to play the project. So if you keep them all in the same place, then you avoid that really annoying error from happening. Now, next up, what we're gonna do is make the lights work on your project. Now, basically, the lights channel will send data to a specific MIDI channel on your launchpad. And we just need to find out which one that is. It can be one, two, five, or six. So we're gonna try all of them when it comes to it. So I'm gonna select user just up here. If you're on a different launchpad, then it will be user one mode, which is normally just here. Uh, but I'm on the pro, so the user mode is just up here. And if we press it at the moment, we can hear sound from certain pads, but we're getting no lights. So let's go in and fix that. What I'm gonna do is come to this view just up here. You can either do that by clicking there or by pressing tab. And then on the lights channel, we're gonna select the output to be the launchpad. And I know for a fact that on the launchpad pro, it's usually channel six, so let's have a look. Not quite. Okay, so it's actually turned out to be channel two. So it's worth trying them all. 
So there we go, now we've got the lights working on the launch pad. Now lastly, we're gonna set up the chain selectors. Simply put, launch pad projects have different pages. For example, one page for the intro like this. <laughs> then you can switch to different pages with different things on them. We need to set up the buttons on the right hand side of the launch pad to do this. So to do so, you're gonna come up to MIDI in the top right hand corner. and then double click on light show. Now just down here you'll see chain selector like I mentioned earlier. So you're gonna to wanna to click just there. And then on the launch pad, hold down the top button and press the bottom button. And then we're gonna do the same for sample. Come down and click here, press here and here. Okay, so. I know for a fact that this Launchpad project has three pages, so what I'm going to do is show you that this still the intro page, but now if I click here, you see the chain selector has moved to one, and I'm going to have different samples. So that's a different sample, that's a different sample, um, and this bit of the song is, is a different section. There you go, so you're able to switch pages with these buttons just here now that we've set that up. And the last one is just on here. There we go, so we've got three different pages. Intro, more of a build up, and then the final sort of drop. Now that you've got all this set up, you're ready to play your light show projects. So there we go guys, I hope you found that video useful. And if you did, then please leave a like, it really does mean a lot to me. Now as a thank you for staying until the end, you're now gonna receive my bonus tip. In order to play these Launchpad projects well, you need to be coordinated, so you're gonna to need to practice your finger drumming. This is something that you can build up really easily with a company called Melodics, who do some really cool lessons on exactly that. So be sure to check these guys out and it's gonna really make you stand apart from other people doing light show projects on YouTube if you've got the timing really nailed down. And it's really good fun to do as well. Now, every week here on The Audio Journey, I release a variety of music production tutorials, mainly focused towards beginners. So if that's something that you might be interested in, then definitely consider subscribing just up here and you can check out some of my other content just up here. Now, I've been John Holt with The Audio Journey and I hope to see you again soon. Now, take care.